Hey there, my name is Ruth Kumar and today we are back with a new topic and today's topic is self-citation. So point is that uh, wherever we discuss this concept of self-citation, then the meaning is quite clear that you are going to cite your own work in one of your works. So point is that uh, in one question that comes to mind and usually people do ask that is a self-citation ethical? Means uh, should you cite your work or not? So point is, it is beyond this definition, means the basic definition of ethicality. When you say that something is ethical, so that is one side of something. And when you say it is not ethical, means it's just the opposite. But it is not true with citation sort of thing. Because if your work that you are citing in your another work, then obviously if your former work is related to your later work, then obviously you can cite that in your later work. But if you are going or if you are practicing this sort of practices extremely, then obviously this extreme self-citation is not at all ethical. So point is that when should we decide that now we should stop? Because there are so many things. So there is no clear cut uh, kind of threshold where that now you have uh, cited four or five books of you, now you should stop or something like that. No, it is not at all like this. Point is just a simple that if your former works are related to your current work and there is a need of reference to the former works because there is some sort of connection and for the ease of interpretability to means from a user's point of view you should see your article that if i want to understand the key concept of this particular article i need to visit my former articles mm -hmm. then only you should cite your work otherwise there is no need there is no clear definition whether you cite one work, two work, three work, or four work. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to detail you with the help of our article that what is the definition of extreme self-citation and when you should consider it a bad practice. So let's start. Here you see that uh, this particular article is uh, featured in the news section of Nature and uh, the title is Hundreds of Extreme Self-Citing Scientists Revealed in New Database. So, when uh, they were discussing this particular article. So they specifically focused on some of the things and uh, those some of the things include that the world's most cited researchers according to the newly released data through nature are a curiously ectic bunch, the novel laureates and the eminent polymath rub their shoulders with less familiar names, such as some of the scientists from Chennai they have quoted and what leaps out about this particular scientist and the many of the other researchers is that many of the citations to their work come from their own papers or from those of their co-authors. Means uh, some sort of farming, if you want to say. I will tell you the meaning of farm, that what is it. So let's uh, uh, skip this personal detail. Uh, we don't want to point out anyone personally here. The motive is just to make you aware that and uh, keep you informed that you should not uh, uh, go into these sort of practices. Otherwise, later on, you might uh, regret that uh, you got into a kind of a bad trap and now you can't escape through it. Okay, so here you can see that uh, the study could help to flag potential extreme self promoters and possibly citation farms. Citation farms means a cluster of scientists massively citing each other, says the researchers. Okay, so I think the self citation farms are far more common than we believe. And it is a statement of John Nonardis, a physician at Stanford University in California, who specializes in the field of meta-science. Okay, now point is that the people who have more than 25% self-citations are not necessarily engaging in unethical behavior, but closer scrutiny may be needed. So point is, again, as I was telling you that, should you consider one, two, three, or four works, or means your former works, to cite in your current work so it is not about one two three four five or six it is just about that what is the relation of your former works with your current work if you are just citing unnecessarily or to gain more citation then obviously it is unethical and people will recognize it over a period of time okay so in their data they have shown that people are citing at 25%, 50%, 60%, even more than 90%. Some of the researchers have cited their own books. So you can consider that how extremely people are citing. And these are uh, not some uh, naive people, means they are having very good citations in numbers, but how these citations are coming. So point is that 
is the citation of is mark of uh, a particular kind of quality or in the articles are having more citations are good really these sort of questions are to come out so you need to think in detail and uh, i'm not going to explore much because the video will go longer and uh, i just urge you to you people as a researcher as a scientist that you should consider well before following any sort of practices to explore do the basic research about the fundamental ethics of research and then there will be no kind of any kind of problem for you in future so thanks for watching this particular video if you didn't like anything please let us know and we'll try to incorporate your suggestions the kind of criticism that you provide through your comments in our next video thanks for watching again happy learning